time, I'm going to teach you the best interval workout of all time. It's my favorite interval workout. I actually just got back from the World Jiu-Jitsu Championships. I was a double medalist uh, uh, in both my weight class and the absolute category at the black belt level. Uh, but this interval workout was a workout that I was doing every single day on the buildup and the lead up to this uh, world championship. And so I'm going to share that with you today. So stay tuned. You do not want to miss this. It's 20 minutes and it will change your entire life when it comes to fitness. So again, stay tuned. You do not want to miss the greatest interval workout of all time and one that I make use of on a regular basis. Now, in addition to going live, in addition to doing this workout, in addition to teaching you the secrets of the intervals, we are also going to do a Q and A. So get your questions in, ask anything you want to ask, and I will answer it. Listen, I'm an expert in fitness. Uh, 45 years old, I fought in the UFC, I won in the UFC, I won submission of the night in the UFC. I've won multiple Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu titles. Uh, I've trained almost every tier one asset by group in the United States military. I've worked with people in the NBA, the NFL, Olympians, worked with some massive corporations to help them with wellness. I mean, really, I've done it all. I don't know if I mentioned yet, men's health named me one of the 100 fittest men of all time. And I also, I'm the author, and, and, and not the publisher, because I had a publisher, Penguin, but I authored a best-selling book called Maximus Body. So when it comes to fitness advice, I am your guy. And here's the deal. It's real advice for real people. I don't have a PhD. I'm not one of these nerds with a pocket protector that thinks they know about exercise but can't do anything themselves. I'm not on drugs. I've never used a drug in my life. I am as real as it gets. So if you're looking for real fitness advice from a real person, I am your guy. I'm a father of three. I live in the real world. This is who you get. So again, you got questions, I got answers. Now, before we go forward and we start with this interval workout, a couple of things. Get your supers in. Supers are how I make money, how I feed my family. It's how I buy my protein powder. So give me those supers. It'll ensure that I keep coming on these lives. Like when I get a bunch of supers, I feel good. I'm motivated to go live again. Number two, subscribe to the channel and turn those notifications on so you know when I go live. You do not want to miss these. You never know when Bobby Maximus is going to pop on to your YouTube, all right? And then tell your friends. Tell all your friends. That's all you got to do. You keep doing those things. I'll keep coming back. Getting a little extra caffeine in. Whatever they say, 2,000 milligrams of caffeine keeps the doctor away or whatever. Anyway, we're going to do this interval workout, so let me get a little set up here, and then it is party time. And in the meantime, get those questions in, all right? So I'm going to do mine on the skier. I love the skier. I think it's really functional. Especially because for a skier stance, I use a split stance. So it is very, very similar uh, to the stance on my feet in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. So that's why I use it. But you could use a treadmill. You could use a rower for this. Let me get a little setup and talk a little bit more about that interval workout. So we got the skier set up, get a little mat, because I'm going to do some body weight stuff. I'm a big believer in the body weight exercises. Hey, Hunter! Just yelling at my little son. I'm going to go check on him in a minute, make sure he's all queued up before I start these intervals. With this workout today, it is 20 minutes long. All right, 20 minutes of work. And you'd be shocked how good 20 minutes of work can be. If you do it right, like a lot of people think you need to work out hours and hours a day. And while it's true, time matters. Like the more volume, the better you're going to get, the quicker you're going to get it, right? That's that's just a fact. I'm big on volume, but I'm also big on intensity. And, and volume and intensity, they share an inverse relationship, right? Like if you're only going to work out 20 minutes a day, you got to go hard. If you work out hours a day, well, then you can go slow. Like you walk all day. So if you're going to do these short workouts, the key is intensity. So for 20 minutes to work, you've got to go hard. And that's where the interval structure comes in. So you can go hard. So we're going to push ourselves a little bit today, all right? So the workout itself, 
30 seconds work, work being uh, something cardiovascular driven. Today I'm using the skier, you could use a rower, you could use a runner. Now on the skier today, I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go a uh, sub 140 per 500 meter pace. That's 150 meters in 30 seconds on a skier or a rower. That's if you're using the Concept2 brand. Uh, some of the other brands like the Assault or, or the Water Rower, I'm not sure what the, uh, you know, what the speed differential is. But it's fairly difficult. Not crushing though, you have to be able to maintain it. The speed reference for that on a treadmill is probably like an 8.5 to a nine is what I would guess for 30 seconds. Um, if you didn't have any cardiovascular equipment, you were doing burpees, 10 burpees in 30 seconds would do it. That's the cardiovascular portion. Now, for the 90 seconds of rest, it's not gonna be rest at all. We are going to do some sit-ups. Love the sit-up. It's great for developing a six-pack abs. For a guy who's 240, 245 pounds, I have pretty good abs, pretty lean. I, I credit that to sit-ups. Uh, they're humble, uh, they're simple, everyone knows how to do them, but yet everyone's like trying to reinvent the wheel when it comes to abs, stick with the sit-up. So, during the rest period, we are going to do some sit-ups. The goal is to get as many as we can in that, in that 90 second rest period. So, really what's gonna happen, we're gonna do 30 seconds of the skier, we're going to do 90 seconds of sit-ups. We're going to do that 10 times 20 minutes. It's going to create a great workout effect. So we're going to get started here. I'm just going to go check on my son, so stay tuned. We're going to set this up, and away we go. And also, I'll answer questions in between, like, during my rest rounds. I won't really go for, I want to help you out, so I won't go for max reps during the sit-ups. If I get, like, 10 each round, I'll be happy, and then I can answer your questions. So listen, get those questions in. Give me the supers, number one. Buy some stuff from me. Uh, buy some stuff. Give me some money. So you, you use the super function. You know you want to. Push that button. Double tap it or whatever whatever the kids say. And then uh, ask your questions. And I've got answers for you. And I know you have fitness questions. Every single person in this world wants to be more fit. So get your questions in. You want to come in the garage or no? You're good? No more candy, okay? No more. All right, and I am back. Do we have any questions here? We do not. So let's get started. And with these live YouTube, sometimes you got to pop out, right? Especially when you're a dad. Like I said, real fitness for real people. I do have kids. I live in the real world got to do what I got to do. I can't just go live all day from a studio. That would be nice. But again, real world, uh, you're dealing with a real world person. All right. So let's set this up. I got the jogging pants on today, but they will get taken off in a minute. So you can see my sexy legs. All right, here we go. You gonna share my drinks, buddy? It is time for the interval workout. And again, I see a bunch of people popping on right now. Uh, probably got notified, here's the deal. Ask any question you want and I will answer it. So get your questions in and then get those supers. Best interval workout ever. So to recap for the new people, 30 seconds of work on the skier. I've already set the interval function. You want to go fairly fast, I'm going to go a sub 140 pace, and then 90 seconds of rest, and in 90 seconds of rest, we are going to do a bunch of sit-ups. So let's get this started. I'm going to do the interval, I'll come back and check the screen, I'll do some sit-ups, and that's how this is going to go. And remember, get your supers in, uh, subscribe, ask questions, notifications, you know, all the things that you good YouTubers are supposed to do. So, Hunter, are you ready? I said, oh, are you ready? Yeah. Come here, buddy. Come here, come here. Let's say hi. Let me see you. All right, just to show you I'm not talking to the air, this is Hunter Bo. Hunter Bo, say hi to the people. Hey. This is my guy, Spider-Man. Miles Morales, say hi. That's his favorite Spider-Man. Who's your favorite Spider-Man, Miles Morales or Peter Parker? 
my old, my fella. All right. Warrior wisdom, what's my favorite core exercise? I mean, I said that earlier. You probably weren't here. The sit-up. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. The sit-up is the best. All right, let's start this interval. There we go. Interval one is in the books. Now we owe some sit-ups. Roanoke. Happy Tuesday, Bobby. Grats up, world. Thank you. It was a hard tournament. That's seven matches. A little sore. Now let's get these sit-ups, all right? One, two, three, four, five. I can't believe how sore. My body is from worlds. What is it? 45, that shouldn't be a surprise. 9, 10. <clears throat> Get a little deck squat to set up stand up thing. All right. Oh, you got here a minute ago, Worry Words. Yeah, the sit up. The sit up is my favorite core exercise. I think it's really, really underrated, to be honest with you. Um, anyway, this interval structure, if you're just joining, 30 seconds of work on the skier. Going fairly fast, but not crushingly fast. You don't want to annihilate yourself. You want it to be maintainable for all 10 intervals. 90 seconds of rest. I'm doing some sit-ups and those deck squat things. We're up time for another interval. Here. Wisdom, you like the crunch of the bicycle kicks? Also great. Can't go wrong. All right, let's get these sit ups. So, the interval workout today 30 seconds on the skier, going on a fairly fast clip, and then 90 seconds of rest. And then the 90 seconds of rest, I got to do some exercise. Doing 10 sit ups. I lost count. I don't even know where I'm at right now. It's got to be 10. Oh. And then one of those deck squats. So the beauty of this is by the end of the workout, I get 100 good sit-ups. So it'll be good. Bobby, for developing cardio capacity, do you prefer the 30-30 times 10 to the three blocks of 30-30 times 6? That was a workout of yours I started a long time ago. For cardiovascular capacity, the six by 30, 30 for three blocks, there's like three to four minutes rest in between each, I think is the best way to develop elite cardiovascular fitness. I'll go on record as saying that, but after I do this interval, I'll give you more flavor to that. Thanks for coming, boo. For the six by 30, 30, for those intervals, I was just saying the 
before this, I think it's the best interval workout for elite cardiovascular fitness. Six minutes, 30 seconds work, 30 seconds of rest. We're going to do three sets of that. Rest like three to four minutes between each set. Now, there's a key to that. For that to work that well, you've got to go hard. And so, the actual working sets for that, for the 30 seconds of where you're on, you want to go about 90% max heart rate. That's savagely hard. If you take a guy like me, and we'll say my max heart rate is 185, oh man, it's above 160 then. So you got to crush it. It is not easy. Most people can't do that. Now here's what people don't realize. If you want to develop elite fitness, the rest isn't free either. The rest is about 50% the pace of the work. So if you're on a bike and you're doing 600 watts for the hard, you got to go 300 for the easy. Like it's an absolute soul crushing workout. What's up, buddy? If you don't have a skier, don't worry. You can run, step up, burpees. So, again, if you don't have a skier, you can run. Uh, if you're running on a treadmill, like an 8.5 to a 9 speed, you can row. You can do some step mill, but you got to go hard. I go like level 10 or 20, whatever the max level is. Um, if you don't have burpees, 10 burpees will do it. Box jumps, maybe 15 to 20 box jumps in 30 seconds will do it. Let me know if you have a specific item in mind. To be of help. Roanoke, did my explanation of the 6 by 30 30s make sense? Nine, ten. Another deck squat. I said earlier, had the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu World Championships on the weekend. I am sore. Uh, do you enjoy doing cardio? Yes. Cardio is a life flow to all your fitness. Weighted jump rope. I wouldn't do weighted jump rope. I go with a regular jump rope and I go fast. A lot of people try that weight cardio. Speed is everything. Go speed, let your heart do the work, not your muscles. Yes, sir. Truck that I normally experience during the rower. Absolutely soul crushing and life choice contemplating. I like the way you put that. It's good. The rower is kind of hard, though. Actually, those 6 by 30 30s, it's hard on the rower because it doesn't give you a speed when you're on the rest. And that kind of sucks. And it's hard to calculate like what's 50%, right? That's kind of difficult, but that's why I like them on a bike or running, because you can literally determine pace easier. But elite conditioning stuff used by the Norwegian ski teams. Eight, nine, ten. All right. Five intervals left. 
By the end of this workout, this is why I say it's the best interval workout ever. Because not only are you going to get 20 minutes of solid cardiovascular work, you hear I'm starting to get out of breath a bit, you also get 100 sit-ups, which is great. 100 sit-ups might not seem like a lot. 100 a day for a whole year, and you're absolutely crushing it. Cordero, hello again. Thank you for the super, the first super. I'll see you in a minute. Thank you for the first super. So I'm thinking about doing a chest back routine, dumbbell bench, then go to pull-ups, fan bike for five calories, rest is needed, four rounds. Matthew, what's the goal? Raw fitness, like functional type fitness, horsepower, like that type of stuff, or hypertrophy, like aesthetics. Let me know and I'll make some adjustments, all right? Oh. 10 more sit-ups and a stand-up. Jamie Delgado, my friend. Another super. All right, I'm loving these supers. Thank you for the support. So this makes going live worth it. I love my afternoon crew. You're too good to me. I appreciate the supers. This ensures I keep going back live every day. All right, Matthew, I'm waiting for your... Uh, your answer to my question, what your goals are. All right, so 10 seconds left. Again, on interval number seven, four left. Athletics endurance, okay, so first of all, four rounds you said, right? You need more than just that. Oh, I know, let me get these 10 up. So first of all, when I'm looking at your workout, get my pants on. Chest back routine, dumbbell bench press, go to pull-ups. Fan bike for five calories, rest is needed, four rounds. I would actually do 10 rounds of that. I think you should be aiming for 50 pull-ups. Use that as your base. So let's do 10 dumbbell bench presses. Let's go, uh, what can you do for 10 that's like maintainable for 10 sets? Let's go uh, like 40s or 50s, nice, slow, controlled. Hop off, do five pull-ups. Five calories on the air dine. I wouldn't say rest is needed. I'd max my, re my rest out at a minute just to make sure you keep moving. So if you only need 30 seconds, great. But it hits a minute, you're going again.
So I would do the 10 dumbbell bench presses at like 40s or 50s. I would do five pull-ups, five calories on the airdyne, minute rest, 10 rounds. If you could reduce the minute rest, awesome. Jax, how are you? Come here. Say hi to all our friends. All right, my main man Jax is back. Jax, come over here. Say hi to our YouTube friends. Show them your muscles. He's being shy. So I would do, is mama home? Yeah. She is? Yeah. Well, good. So I would do 10 rounds of that, Matthew. Let me know if you got that message. And also, do it, and then stop back in and let me know how it goes. I want to hear about it. But I would do 10 rounds and try to minimize the rest. Then I use dumbbell bench. I like dumbbells better than barbell. More of a 360 degree stabilization requirement. And what's five calories take you on like the assault? Air down like, like a 10 second sprint. I think that'd be a great workout. Oh, plot twist. All right, hold on. Thank you again for another super. I appreciate you. Too kind. Now you're talking about a second half of the workout. Okay, so I thought, in all honesty, my bad. I thought that was a self-contained workout. So I said 10 sets. If you're doing something on the second half, like if I was doing only one workout, I would do 10 sets of what I told you. But now given this new information, if you're doing this second part, I would actually go five and five. So five sets of the first circuit, and now five sets of the second circuit. And so that'll be your 10 sets for the day. And if you do that hard, yeah, you're getting some really quality work in. No problem with that at all. Now you got incline press and horizontal row, but you still need to sprint. So maybe again, five calories on the airdyne. Do not neglect your cardiovascular fitness. I know there's all these memes on the internet that say, lift weights faster, you know, you don't need cardio, but cardio is super important, trust me on that. So, uh, maybe, oh, maybe five burpees. Five burpees after that, five rounds of the first, five rounds of the second, that'd be killer, killer. my last interval. Matthew, let me know if that made sense, what I just said. Warrior wisdom, I really need to strengthen in my rhomboids because I constantly have pain in that area. Any exercises you know, a great one would be an Aussie row, swinging up the bar, hanging at waist height from a, from a squat cage, and pull yourself up like that, almost like a reverse bench press. Bat wings. He's super strict. Bank row with dumbbells, a big squeeze at the top, and then bend and pull apart. Those are my favorite three. Eight, nine, ten. All right, there's my ten intervals. That workout today took 20 minutes. 
Best interval workout ever. 30 seconds work, 90 seconds rest. 30 seconds work. Yeah, it's fairly hard on the skier. 90 seconds rest. You gotta do a certain amount of work. I did 10 sit-ups and a deck squat or two every round. All right, so that was good. Um, I'm actually gonna stick with a couple more intervals, so stick around with me. I'll do five more and then I'll be done. Just get a little bit of extra work. Every bit helps. we got here. Are you a fan of kettlebell Turkish get up? I love Turkish get ups. Really, really big fan of them. All right, little Robbie. Who's Quinn Scott? I've never heard of Quinn Scott. Quinn Scott. So what do you mean he humbled me? I have no idea who that human being is. No idea. All right. Matthew Cordero says Roe Gecko Bike is killer. Yeah, it makes the rides harder. The fan is big. That's right. Air resistance. The marketplace. Great way to get some equipment. I'm waiting for little Robbie. Who's Quinn Squat? Never heard of the person, by the way. And how did he humble me? He made a video about me. I'd love to see it. You should not care who he is anyway. I mean, where where are you seeing this? What what did he post me on? What did he say? I, I don't like I said, I don't know. No idea. Gotta give me more, little Robbie. You're benching 315 and you bench 405. Quinn Scott, you mean that big baker guy? I don't know. And by the way, is bench the only thing these guys have? That's funny. All right, where's the video? I want to see it. Little Robbie, come on. Hook me up. 45 seconds left. Three intervals. So we're going into overtime. I'll do this sometimes. 20 minutes intervals. Sometimes I'll extend it to 30. I mean, honestly, I have time today. And I said this earlier. That 20 minutes is good 30 is better 40 is better like you don't necessarily need volume right you can go super hard and get a result on 20 to 30 minutes a week but volume always matters in the end at the end of the day more volume is going to be the answer so we're getting a little more volume while i'm enjoying this conversation
right, here we go. Ah, uh, little Robbie, I like it. And yeah, I don't really care who the guy is, but I think this stuff's funny. Um, I wonder if it's on TikTok. I actually love clapping back to these guys because usually it's some like juiced up dude that thinks because he's strong, he's humbling people. So like a big Baker or a Daniel Rykoff ripoff. Just makes me laugh. See, Jamie Delgado, good to hear. My job, I feel like I only have time for kettlebell complex treatment workouts. Okay, Jamie, homework for you because you've given me some supers. You've been super supportive, all right. One of my favorite workouts for core stability, strength, shoulder health, 100 Turkish get-ups. Slow, controlled, one with the right, one with the left, one with the right, one with the left. So you get 100 totals, 50 on each side. It will mentally get inside your head. Put on a good playlist, 30 minutes of Turkish get-ups. It's an absolutely awesome workout. All right. after this. You motivated me today. Do more work. Supers came in. Lots of questions. Great chat. Bobby Maximus gets 10 extra minutes of work. Uh. Woo! Matthew Cordero, you are killing it today. My new favorite fan. Agro control, her combo and match the gathering. Oh man, I love it. So I like agro, uh, but here's here's the thing. I'm not really good with all these terms, to be honest with you. Um, here's the thing. I normally like collect. Like I'm not a huge player. Like people have all these color coded combos. Like if you play like white, black, and red, it's got a certain name. I don't know most of that. I collect. So I've got over 30 complete sets right now, ranging back from the original Innistrad. Uh, so I've got 30, I mean complete sets, all the cards in every set. Hold on there a second, let me finish. Setups, and then I got you. So, so when it comes to collecting, I got 30 complete sets. And then if you go on box field, look up Bobby Maximus. I don't keep it a box field yet. Matthew, you're obviously a player, so I'm sure you know it. I've got, oh, I think 19 commander decks right now. And all those, they live like they, I don't transfer cards between them. Like if it says it has a mana crypt in it, you can come to my house and pull that deck on the shelf. It's got a mana crypt. I have like 12 mana crypts, by the way. But, all my decks, they're not even based on a playing style or even really a color. They're commander decks. But let me give you an example. The poor fitness people are like, what is this nerd talk, by the way? Which is pretty funny. You gave me a super, so we went there. And I answered the man, you paid. 
So you look at like an artifact deck, right? So an artifact deck, I wanted to use that, that Urza, Lord High Artificer, like a mono blue one, but here's the deal. It's only blue, so I couldn't include a bunch of like my favorite artifact type cards. So for my artifact deck, I used Brea, the Ethereum Shifter, because out of four colors, I get more cards in it. I used a four color Atraxa for my Phyrexian deck, because I get all the Phyrexians in. I wish it was a five color Atraxa, so I could have got uh, the red one or a brask in there, but I couldn't. I, I got an Elf deck, I got a Merfolk deck, I got an Angel deck, so I'm very tribal, more than I am like a, like a plain style, just to be clear on that. And so, um, a very tribal versus actual plain style, but when it comes to aggro, like I think that's like big beasts, trample, stuff like that. My elf deck has a bunch of that stuff in it. So it's like the elves and friends, the forest creatures, if you will, like Cultivator Colossus and that new dinosaur from uh, Galta, maybe it's called, from Ixalan is awesome. Uh, should they reprint the reserve list? No, I got so much money tied up. I got like a hundred dual lands. No way, do not reprint them. I don't want them to drop in value. All right, Jamie, thanks again, Bobby. Hopefully you'll have a seminar in the future. Love your content. Put it up there with Dan, John, Ripto. That's a huge compliment. Dan, John, and Ripto are great at what they do, so I really appreciate it. All right, so there we go. Interval workout. 30 seconds work, 90 seconds rest. Oh, Matthew, I got an awesome zombie deck, but I got to tell you, I wanted to go all black, but I went blue and black because I wanted the, I wanted some of the blue cards. Uh, like, what's the... Is it Rooftop, uh, oh no, Necro Duality, that's what it is. The Necro Duality is an awesome card. It lets you double up the zombie tokens and the Rooftop uh, Storm or whatever it's called so you can just pull your zombies out with no casting cost. Um, but I went blue and black for that one because I wanted a bunch of the blue cards and there's some Geralt and Gisa cards that are blue. So uh, I, I went blue and black for that. Go check it out on Moxfield. Check out my zombie deck. I want your feedback on it. Um, we would love to hear what you think is you're a player the next time we're on live. So go to Moxfield and Bobby Maximus, and then away we go. Anyway, back to the interval workout. Uh, 30 seconds work, uh, cardiovascular. I did mine on the skier, sub 145 and a meter pace. And then we did uh, 90 seconds of rest. In the 90 seconds of rest, I got 10 sit-ups. Because I did some extra rounds, 15 rounds. So I got 15 rounds intervals, and then I got uh, 150 sit-ups. And then I got some um, deck squats, not a lot of them, probably like 20, which is fine. It was a great day. 30 minutes like that afternoon, like I had seven matches in my jiu-jitsu tournament. I was not tired at all, like not one bit, which is really awesome, you know, considering. So I feel really, really good about that. And uh, yeah, so... This is Bobby Maximus Live, Real Fitness for Real People. And that's why, by the way, I keep the workouts in the afternoon here in live so like 30 minutes because I'm very cognizant of the fact fitness is my job to a degree. I can spend three hours a day in the gym. You probably can't, right? You got a job, you got people. Uh, oh, he wants to pose? I mean, I can pose. You just have to sit down and send me where this Quinn Scott video is. Tell me where this Quinn Scott video is so I can check it out and clap back and then I'll give you the pose you want. But... Um, I'm very cognizant, like, like you got kids, you got a wife, you got a job. I mean, I got kids and a wife and I got a real job too, but like part of my thing's making content so I can, this is like part of my job, right? That's why I ask for supers all the time because that's how I get paid. And by the way, any finishing supers, get them in now. Um, but um, a lot of people might only have 30 minutes to train. So I try to make these workouts like 30 minutes uh, or less so that you can really get, he build a huge base of, even you can approach elite fitness. Um, if you're willing to go hard enough, you're willing to suffer a little bit. Um, and then it's not, uh, it's not, um, what do you call it? Uh, uh, it's not out of reach. Cause if I tell you, Hey, do this two hour workout, you're not going to do it. Right? Like most people, you got a wife, you got kids, you got a job, like there's no way. So 30 minute workouts, you could certainly handle this 30 minute interval workout. Like this got me really fit for World Jiu Jitsu Championships. So, pretty happy with that. All right, let's see it. We'll flex, right? All right. There we go. I don't have the prettiest physique in the world, but not bad for a 45 year old man who's completely 100% oh, natural. So, there we go. 
And then we have this guy, Avatar Daily Fitness Journal. Uh, that's none of your businessmen. You just ask rude questions all the time. So here's the deal, Avatar. Give me a super, donate money, or go away. Those are your two choices. Take your pick. Anyway, I love you all. Great live, great interval workout. Uh, 30 seconds work, 90 seconds rest. 30 seconds work, you gotta go hard. Treadmill, skier, rower, burpees, something cardiovascular driven. In the 90 seconds off, you gotta do some type of activity. I've done pull-ups, I've done push-ups today. I did sit-ups and deck squats. Anyway, see you next time. Love you all.